10.30 and the flight's at 2.30 and I'm tired and hungry. But here we are, about to check in. And then I'm gonna kill a couple of hours before I can actually sleep. So I don't know how I'm gonna do, but we'll see. So this is what happened. I managed to um, score free, not really free, but on points, business class tickets for the first leg of our trip. And I was going to go without Jeremy because Jeremy couldn't decide whether he wanted to come with me or not. So initially, he was going to be stuck in little <laughs> economy class on his own. But um, I guess he didn't want to leave me, just wanted to come with me or like he had FOMO. So we upgraded um, at the kiosk. So we will both be flying business class for the first leg of the trip. And so we're at the Aspire Lounge now in Perth T1. And obviously I can't eat, so um, I'm just testing out the food. Looks like some. It smells pretty good. The curry, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's looking really good. I'm sad that my first business class experience, I won't be able to eat anything. But at least I get to watch Jeremy eat it. <laughs> How's the food review? Uh, Thai green curry and a little wrap. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It is? Yeah, it's like, like, it's like, no? it's like a pig. This looks legit. Yeah, it's actually spicy. It's not looking like that. I got warm water with lemon. This almost feels like a painful addition for sure. Much better than regular airport food outside? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Either. Free tastes better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little chicken wrap. Yeah, chicken wrap tastes pretty good. Um, very light. It's all very tasty. <laughs> Flavorful. Put good sauce in it. The pieces of meat are tiny, but like that's my thing. You can just take two. Yeah, <laughs> just take as one. the reality of Perth. We have arrived in Malaysia for our transit. It was supposed to be just a one hour transit time and then we were supposed to take like, like a one and a half hour flight and we should be in Vietnam like really soon. But the first flight got delayed and so now we missed the second flight and well they made up they made it up to us by putting us in this gold now which I'll take you guys around later. Really cool. Unfortunately, I can't eat anything. I only have two meals with me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if my frozen food that I already packed is still going to be okay when I finally get to Vietnam. I don't know how long it's going to take for us to like get through customs in Vietnam. But for now, we're just going to have our thermos meal. We go from there. I'm going to take you guys around and see what they have. Hello. 
looking even though I can't eat. So here they have a little porridge station, the nasi lemak station, rice. Mm, I have cereal in case I need to carve up one, but I don't have a scale with me because it's in my luggage. And then a little salad bar. And, um, oh, they have some fruit and yogurt. Yes. Jeremy is very well fed. Mm -hmm. I ate a lot. Five plates. <laughs> he ate a lot. Really made full use of this whole thing. Now we're just chilling until one. And then we have to go to a different terminal. I don't, I don't even know how we're going to do that. take a train. No, we just take a bus. A oh, bus, yeah. We've got to yeah, get, on, bus get on like a bus and yeah. then get to where we need to get to. Board by 1.30, arrive around 3-ish, and then probably take an hour to get out of the airport, so it'll be like 4, and then hopefully arrive at the um, hotel by 5. And then hopefully my frozen chicken is still okay and I can have my third meal. Let's see. We we're just talking about our business class experience and like how great the lay flat beds were even though like yeah my sleep wasn't 100% this good but anyways the service was really good so anyways it was really really cold and then um i asked like the cabin guy for like an extra blanket and he's like of course so he gave it to me but then he's like is the cabin temperature too cold do you want me to turn it up for you i can like change it one to two degrees do you want one degree higher or two degrees higher and then I was like, oh, I, if that's, I just felt bad because I didn't know if other people were feeling cold. But then I was really cold. And then I, and he was like, it's okay, I'll, I'll put it two degrees higher for you. Why? Like, is it just for entire? The whole business class cabin. Um, he changed the temperature. I did, I did notice it got hotter. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like suffocating. I was like, really? I can't breathe. I had two blankets. Nah, they caused some crap, so it's fine. I was cold. But he was no. really nice. And he was like, yeah, I can just change the whole temperature for you. I'm like, sure. I, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel. They're very good service. They were really nice. this too much. I was really? kind of like, yeah, I, like, just I'm fine. Like, I'll tell you if I need something. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously, they're doing their job of like, oh yeah, like, you know, like, you're not gonna fish out, like, take your time. Yeah. It's just kind of like. They had it's heaps totally of food. Fun. I'm not they were trying to serve us food at like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they were just like. Some and then and like, half you know, the people like, were like, "No, no, we just want to sleep." And then they just like kind of. I guess they felt bad. They knew that like obviously business class tickets are like expensive and like the food is included in it. And so, are you sure we have satay? And then after satay, we have like some supper. Are you sure you don't want to like eat first before you sleep? And then everyone was supper? like, "No." What's, what's even in supper? Yeah, so like um, satay is like the entree. Yeah. Yeah, after that? I don't know, they had more food after. You see, I don't get it late. Like, they give you business um, access as well. So there's food there. Yeah, but... I, I, honestly, I enjoyed the food in the other business lounge as well. Yeah, apparently like, this one is really good. So Jeremy yeah. said the food here is better than, like, Perth Atrium, which is, like, a little buffet thing we have in Perth. I wouldn't say it's better than Perth Atrium. I but, like, asked you, you were like, quality, yeah. The quality of food is really good. Like it's like you're eating real nasi lemak, you're eating real dim sum. Mm. That's what it feels like when you eat it. So no. it's, not, it's not very like they make a lot of care, but like is there, is there as much variety as Asian? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, Asian obviously had, because Asian was a proper buffet. This is just a, this is just a lounge. But anyways, in this now it's just also like a sleeping room where you can sleep if you wanted to, but then we just like, that was a little bit soft. But anyways, these couches are pretty comfy. Yeah. So we're just gonna chill here for a little bit. And just take each day as it comes. No idea what I weigh. No idea what I look like. Actually, I kind of look a little bit skinny, honestly, when I look at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I 
She's burning calories from stress. My face and like. Maybe she needs to do some chocolate. There is Emma's here. And um, in case you don't know, KL is like tax free. So all luxury goods in KL are a little bit cheaper. Plus with the exchange rate, yada yada. Um, but no, I'll be good. I told myself I might treat myself to something only if I place well on my next two shows. And I'll buy something in Korea. Otherwise, nothing for me. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> We have finally arrived. It is 5.02 and I will give you a little hotel tour. So it's like a hotel service apartment. Obviously I need a kitchen. So we have a cute little kitchen, pretty happy with it. We've got fridge, microwave, coffee, just in case a little stove. We've got a kettle there. And then we have a nice big little seating area and then TV bed the v's are not the best but we have a little table for jeremy to work most yeah. important and this is my favorite part how nice is this bathroom? bathroom so pretty there's also a tub in case i want to have a bath i'm just so happy i'm finally here and i can have a meal wash my face and just refresh and regroup I stocked up on my essentials and we have an amazing Korean like store opposite where we live. Obviously I can't have anything even though everything looks really good. So Jeremy is having them. Let's see what we got. So we got some onigiris. So this one is a salmon mayo. And this one is a black pepper sauce beef. Oh, that looks good. He has this bao. He has no idea what's in there. It's just gonna be a lucky dip. And look, they have these chickens. I'm not gonna eat it to risk it, but if I was here on like holiday, this whole chicken is like 31.8 proteins. It's literally like a chicken tenderloin. And then there's like another chicken one as well. So this one is like 27.6 protein. So that's heaps of protein. And then he got this Gochu Chang chicken bento. So you gotta heat that up, babe. Yeah, I know. I think I have to heat it whole up. Do you reckon I heat it up inside here? Uh, I don't know. I think it's better to take it out of the plastic. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. 